Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I am happy to announce that we have dropped OBS Complete Bundle version 3.0. Originally, this was going to be 2.5, where it was actually going to support different languages, but we just kicked it up a notch and we just made it completely version 3. English is only available right now, but we've made some changes so that we can add additional languages to it. So be mindful. If you're getting this from my website, make sure you're aware of the language that you are getting. So let's go ahead and go over here to the computer and let me give you a tour on what's new in this bundle. So right now we still have the same basics that we have before. You can come in here and change your church name here as a placeholder. So let's go ahead and type in prototype church. And you can always come in here, unlock this and move this wherever you want it to be. Now, depending on the bundle that you get, it's actually going to have the language pack here, which these are already been pre-configured with the rotating, um, you know, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We'll be starting soon. Stuff like that. That is already here. And I've done it in four different fonts. Um, I could go crazy with it, but I didn't want to because this is a very big download. This is like 3.3 gigs because of so much um, graphics and stuff that has been included in this. But we have one um, font right here and that's um, a Mython, or I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but anyway, it's there. And then you also have this other one, Albariah intro, um, much blockier version. Then we also have Code Light, which I really like. Um, it's kind of like a very thin font and it goes through the same type of things. And then we also have the watch font. That's kind of like a brushed kind of a calligraphy type of thing. And you can go through and pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go with the code light right now, which I do like. All right. So we'll minimize that. And then you, you can reposition these. These are all um, chroma keyed out. So there's already a background color to these. So if I come in here and filter, We've gotten rid of the black because that's how it was made transparent just to make you go through um, so you can see through it. But the beauty of this, we've separated the words from the background so you can do it in different ways. Um, we also have included a countdown timer like we've done before. If we expand out here, we have 5, 10 and 15 minutes. So if I turn that on, we have our text here that you could always come in here and change if you want the wording to be different. But it has a 15 minute timer. Um, you can come out of here, do a five minute a 10 minute, whichever one that you want, and they will zero out and actually show nothing when they're done. So again, it closes the file, show nothing when the playback is done. So it, when it reaches the end of the time, if I skip it forward, it just completely goes away. So whoever's watching this on OBS, they need to be mindful. This will not automatically shift. There are plugins that you can do to do that. I have not added that, but it's just to set you up here. So let's turn back on the 15 minute. So we got that. Now the next section is a just placeholder. So if you want to put graphics, like you want to do your church logo and stuff like that, we just set it there. So it's set there. So it's actually behind all the text and everything like that. So the image won't um, block anything. It's just set for organization. You can move this any way you want to. Now, the other thing I'm excited about, I haven't done the um, video on this yet, which I will probably later today. I've been doing this type of spectralizer. This is where you see a graphical representation of your music. So we still have the same licensed songs, um, Calm, um, Minimal, and Motivational. These were ones that were included on OBS Bundle version two. The licenses are included in the zip. So if you ever get hit with it, you can show the license and all this other stuff. But I have different type of specializers in here. So if I turn this on, you know, you have the bar. If I go to number two, actually, I need to turn that music off. So that it doesn't play and I'll make an update to that. So you have the bars and you can move this anywhere you want to. If you want to get real fancy with this, I've actually done this where I, on my countdown, I actually flipped this upside down and it gives like a unique little look. And it's just that some people have done this. Now, there is a plugin in OBS that does this, but it only is for Windows. This is just pre-made. So if you're using Mac, this will work with this because it's just a video file that's playing and it has the same licensed music with this. Um, we, then we also have the full one. Now, if you don't like how this is, you can come in here on your filters, the chroma that's already done, and you can turn down the opacity 
and you can make it kind of like in the background so that you can still see it. So it just gives you some motion. Again, this is based on the power of habit. You're seeing stuff change. You're seeing music and you're seeing motion that's changing. It's going to keep people engaged, but that is your choice. I just like to have it there. It's already been made for you and you can pick which one. And again, all of those different, all three of the songs have all three different versions of the spectralizer. So that, that is your choice. Now, if you don't want to use that at all, you can. And we've included the music only as well. So you have those three songs as well, too. You can just pick whichever one that you want. Don't do all three at the same time. But, you know, you have it right there. Also, I didn't mention, if you don't like the font of the Prototype Church or from the Service Countdown, you can change those. I didn't want to include fonts with this package. So you can install whatever font. Um, I don't think I have a link to where I have the font. Actually, I had bought these and I have a license for them, so I can't give them. That's why I can include them in something made. I can't just give you the font. So my apologies for that. Um, but that's there. And the other thing is I've included at least 16 different backgrounds that you can use in your stuff here, or you can always just come in and just put your own. Again, this was set to give you a running start and get you what you want. So we have background number one, we have a background number two, number three, four, five, six, seven. Really like that one. This is sim similar to my um, sister's church. Number eight, different boxes, different color. Number nine, there's that gold one there that you can put your logo like there and the circle one or the triangle, the diamond one. Number 10, different colors there. There's 11. 12 is just kind of a red. 13 is like that blue. 14 is kind of like stained glass type of thing right there, like that. Um, 15 is kind of like a blue, a gold orb. And then you have 16 that has that kind of like this. Actually, I use this on this one. I actually use as my background for my live stream stars. So you have different ones that you can play around with. A lot of customization, or you can just add your own to change it up, but at least it gives you the straight, forwardness with this. All right. The next scene is, and that's your pre-service. Let's go to our live. And we're here, have another camera here that's going on here. And we still have all the other stuff that is windows and Mac applicable. We do have the, um, first fruits free version of the scripture embedded here. So if we go to the doc here and just say, we want to type in James one, we can come in here and then it's going to add our scripture down here below. So that's straightforward. If you don't have any type of presentation software, you can do it directly in OBS. Now, the other thing is, and again, this is Windows only. We also have the animated lower thirds. So I have my stuff in there. You can add your logos in here. But if we turn that on, there you go. We have the animated lower third as well, too. If you're interested, you can make different customizations in here. You have four of them and you can just loop them there. And again, that is Windows only, unfortunately. They still have not done that for the Mac, so my apologies. I do have your video capture, which I'm using this camera right here for this. And with the Windows one, you can come in here, pick your capture device, and set your audio right there, which I'm using my Rodecaster right now. The Mac does not support that. That's why I have this audio input. So you would link your audio input if you're using a Mac to stream here, since they don't do that combined version for um, for the video capture on the Mac. So there you go. Now we've simplified a lot of stuff as well too. And we've made some enhancements for your offering. If we go here to offering, you see, we have different type of animated, um, designs and you can come in here for giving like we've done before. You can come in here and we have all your logos and stuff like that. So for the most part, we have all of them that should cover everything. You can always add your own, or you can just take away the ones that you don't say you don't want to have the offering plate. You can take away that in the text and you can just pick whichever one and slide them and move them where you want to. You can come in here just like this and change your text if you want to. And we have different type of backgrounds and these freeze after one play. So we have four and these are all animated. I didn't include the static ones. Um, just moving it up. Let me know if y'all want me to do the static ones. I'll just append this update 
and add those in. And if you've already downloaded this, just let me know. I will make it a put, I'll make a, another one time 24 hour code so you can repull it down if you want the static ones. But again, we turn that off. We turn on this other one. There's some other ones that were made. You know, that you can use, you can always add your own. And then there's this other one here. This one, I, this is where you would want to probably change the font in here and move the placement of this. You could always move this in a different location if you really wanted to. So if I unlock this, say I want to slide this over a little bit more so that that will work. And so if I turn it on again, you know, it could work like here, you know, it's, it's again, it's just meant to be a good starting point for y'all if that's what you would like to do. And let me move this down back in this position here and we'll lock this. Now, the beauty of this is we've linked our live slide, our live scene here. So everything that was applicable on live, your audio capture, everything is still going to come through here so that if you're bringing this up just for the live stream, they'll still be able to hear what's going on in the sanctuary, but they will just see this graphic for them. So you're separating um, who's on the live stream and inside the sanctuary. So that's your option for you. We still have our Be Right Back. We haven't really changed that because, I mean, it just works well. We've linked our music, so something is going on. You go to the scene. If you're playing or presenting something that's copyrighted that you don't have permission to do, you're using the licensed music, so you're good, and you're notifying everybody that something, your stream will start back because we're playing something that you are not licensed to show on your live stream, and that gets you straight. We also have a technical issues one that has music as well. So something is going down. Something is a problem with your camera or something like that. And feed is not there. Audio. You can always switch over to this just in case. And it's good to have. And we have a post service. And this is just a placeholder. So, for example, say you want to have a benediction or an outro specific to whoever's watching on the live stream. You can just record that and just place it here. And it will just play. And that's it. And then we also have an ending Similar to like the intro, we have our different fonts, those four as well that you can pick from and we'll sync it. See, I really like that. It's really clean. But anyway, we have that. We have our music outro um, and th these are only going to play once in comparison. So like if I get to the end, I don't do a fade to black or anything like that. Once there's no text, you'll know to end the live stream. And we've kept it up long enough for if you do those um, credits that you end, if you're doing YouTube, if you want to add a subscribe and all this other stuff, references, that's what that space is for. And just like the beginning, you do have all 16 of the different backgrounds that you can change to if you want something different. So really excited about this, that we've set it up to where um, when we support other languages, you're just going to see the different language in these models and everywhere where there's text, we'll be able to change that up. Um, and the text here that you type, you can put that in whatever language you are, but we want to put this and just set you up to help out different ministries. Um, and that's about it. So that is um, OBS bundle version three. That is English only. We are looking at doing some other stuff. If you want to help out, um, what I can do, if you can translate some stuff like that to me, email me at questions at agentholmes.com. And what we can do is have you do the translation. I'll make this up. And as a thank you, I'll give you that bundle for free. And you'll help us reach out to other ministries and give a bundle that's available to them to get their live stream up and running, looking a little bit more professional and get it a lot organized to help them out in the flow of service. So no, if you want, if you have, again, at this point, we can support almost any language right now, which I'm really excited about. We just need some... The translation, I mean, I could always go to Google Translate, but I would rather have someone actually speak the language to know that it's accurate or not. And you can, again, email me at questions at ajhomes.com if you're interested in that, and we can set up something. And this is pretty much a quick turnaround in those languages, which I am very excited about doing. This bundle, because of so much stuff that we've included, this is just $5 more than what we've done. So this is $40 U.S., and um, you have, once you get it, you can down, you have access to download it for 24 hours. Please, th this is what I do, folks. So please just don't download this and give it to other people. But I hope this helps your ministry. Y'all have been using since I did OBS Bundle 1 about three years ago. And just really excited to not just focus on ministries that are English-based, but open this up so we can develop this for any language that's available. And hopefully this helps out. 
This does work for Windows and Mac. We are going to do an asset bundle. So if you're using any other streaming software like vMix or something, and you just want the assets for that, we'll be making that available as well too. So link is down below if you're interested in getting that. And again, thank you so much for your support. And I hope this helps you out. And this is AJ folks, and we will catch y'all on the next video later. Yeah.